Okay, so welcome back to episode 12. We are now just going to quickly collect all our rewards. Um, in the previous episode, we did just get two quests done on customs. And we are now selling some stuff to get Ragman leveled up. The cigarettes are required for a quest. So we're going to hold on to those ones. The 220k we actually need in... In... Chemical part two. So we're going to hold on to that. We're going to vendor this key. I don't think you can, what, you can't vendor it anymore? Fair enough, you can't even vendor the key anymore. Maybe we can vendor it to the fence. Wow, you can't vendor keys anymore. Interesting. Um, all right, so we're gonna go into customs again. We're gonna get chemical part two done, and then it leads into a factory quest. If we can get both of them done in this episode, I'd be really happy. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be too painful. Now we're gonna go with the modes in the game, it's like take plenty of ammo just like before. Uh, we need meds, we're running a bit low. Thankfully, we've got some money in that raid. And we need painkillers, which we've got. I'm going to go in like this and hopefully get something good out of it. I uh, don't really want to take a backpack into customs. It's just too sketchy with so many um, players in there. Uh, so the objective from this raid is to get chemical part two done. We could do ice cream cones. Let me just check. If we bought the six ice cream cones, it wouldn't be too expensive. The way you search your ice cream uh, for um, the 60 round max, I always go 60 dash. That's the second one. You can get 60 round mags at M4 from those ones too. We'll get the six from this. And then that will get us our quest hand in. Uh, let's just make sure they're empty because sometimes you'll buy the mags here. This one's got ammo in it. It's got six, nine rounds of BSMO. I know it's not a lot, but sometimes you get a full mag. Uh, and I know there's certain people that actually go and buy mags just to put them up on the flea market again to see if they can get the good ammo from it. Um, all right, so there's ice cream cones. Postman Pat is located in factory so we can actually do that on top of the next quest if we get there and um hopefully we will so with these 60 round mags we could hang on to them but i'm actually not going to just for the fact that we need that money for leveling up ragman so we'll put these back up for sale same process we bought the other three 29 one two three and then let's get into this raid all right so it's raining again if it's really noisy like the previous raid i will Turn the volume down on the game so you can actually understand and hear everything. But then when it's really loud, it's just too painful. Um, objective is purely get to dorms, three-story dorms, get into 220, loot the items, and get away from there. Um, I know I'm not playing very PvP orientated at the moment, but there is just really no purpose in um, throwing yourself in situations where you're going to be in trouble until you've got at least some gear to take people on. Like you can, like th this. Is I guess I'm teaching you guys how to level up more than actually hunt people down and kill them. But there will be times where we have to get PMCs for kills, and for quests. There's like the Punisher series will take me into shoreline heaps, and I'll be getting in a lot of situations where I'm hunting people down. So you don't have to stress too much about that. It will come up. But at the moment, I really want to try and focus on teaching you guys how to get some of the quests done, particularly get you up to the Punisher series. Because if you're on a standard account like I am right now, the main focus I'm going to go with this series is up until... Uh, well, I want to get all the quests done, but the foot... Oh, he's right there. Fuck. Oh, he's stuck in the wire. So, our main focus I want to do is get Punisher Part 6 done, so then I get the Epsilon container. Now, Punisher Part 4, 5, and 6 are all PMC going quests, so... I'm sure you guys aren't going to complain about that. Uh, me purely just hunting raid after raid to kill PMCs for you. Alright. Some people think that firefighter helmet is my streamer item. It's not. That should have been a hit. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's get moving. Quickly get the 220 before uh, anyone else gets there. Now, if the scav boss is there, we're going to be hurting. It's actually probably easier with a Mosin than most guns. I've actually had a lot of luck killing the scout boss with shotguns too. Um, you can drop them pretty quickly by hitting them in the legs, but also holding Alt and S, you can aim around corners. And if you've got plenty of ammo with a shotgun, you'll just destroy them eventually. I just heard someone running up to it.
my god. If that other scab wasn't just sitting in the bloody hallway. I didn't even hear him come up the staircase. This has been rough, guys. Oh my god. How did he get there so quick? Must have came from the other side. Must have ran over. What? This doesn't even make sense. How did I do it as scav then? I'm so confused, guys. That was a PM that was a PMC for sure. Previous raid. Five minutes in. I definitely didn't kill two scabs five minutes a second for scab five minutes in. That's a that's a bugged out death screen for sure. And I used more than three ammo. So this isn't the right the right list. <sighs> this is just anyway, I'll chuck in another loadout and we'll get into the next raid. I guess something to take note of during particularly this episode and um, potentially the one after is due to the fact that I was getting a little bit frustrated, I, I stopped playing as tactical as I usually would and I was just trying to get stuff done. So it's probably something to actually take note throughout this episode. All right, another deploying timer. Always good, as I said before, get a deploying timer. That way we can uh, make sure we're at the start of the raid where, you know, we're there in... Uh, I was gonna say we're the first like we're there at the start, you know, we're not late spawning. All right, with this one, I'm gonna go straight for the dorms, get the 220, and get the frick out of that area. It's been, it, customs has been so rough for me. I don't know what it is. Not about customs, I just it's, it's been happening during my live stream as well. Constantly getting just smacked all the time. Got other maps, fine. I'm taking on squads, taking on people. It's all good. Customs is hectic. Constant, hectic, random shit. We keep moving, nice and quick. While we're walking, I'd eat that. I got a feeling Tycola's worth a little bit at the moment. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna switch out the Tycola for the IFAC real quick. I didn't even bring a, a rig because honestly, I just want to get this quest done. Um, I want to get off to customs, get onto other maps, and then start talking about other things because we've done a lot of customs. You know, like we could even go shoreline and just talk about random stuff on shoreline. And me just running in and dying all the time is just not. Well, see, the, with the last one, I was actually thought that scab might have been a scab boss minion, and that's why I didn't want to like aggress too quickly up that direction. And I wanted to make sure I killed him. And then the fact that that player came up from the staircase below. Oh shit, there's someone in two story already. And the fact that he's fighting someone could mean that he's fighting the scab boss minions. Which means they could run out right now. Oh, scab boss minions are in here instead. Righto. Oh, another scab. Oh, that's twice I shot him! This is ridiculous! You guys are seeing an episode of pain! That's what this episode should be called. The episode of pain. And now you know why I go night on. But that's even whack, because, you know, didn't expect him to be there. Two hits. It definitely didn't hit him in the, uh... Well, it's all by armor. So I hit, hit him, stomach, chest. There's no... Uh, I don't know. I, I, I reckon I hit him in the chest, then. <sighs> this, this is just how it is sometimes, guys. And it happens to all of us. So you just got to understand, you die a lot sometimes. And sometimes you have good days. And this is just obviously a bad day. All right, so I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to do a scav run. Um, I need the money. I'm not in a good position. And I don't want to bore you guys with just doing money runs all the time. So we're going to do a cheeky factory scav run. If we survive the raid, we can use that to uh, that loadout to actually come back in. We've got an armor. It's got a gun. It's got a backpack. It's got contacts. I think they're the high sports. I'm pretty keen to sell those high sports and the like the belt clover and hat. Um, we could even sell the scav vest. Just keep the armor and backpack and the gun, and we've got ourselves a bit of a loadout there. So, scav runs can be used to top yourself up. I very very rarely do this, but like I said, I don't want to just bore you guys with interchange scav run, uh, interchange loot runs. Um, whilst they're, you know, a very very good way of making money. Uh, I want to educate you guys as much as possible. What I might try and start thinking about doing is different ways I can make money. Uh, and show you different types of loot runs. Because at the moment, it's customs is destroying me. You guys can see it. You don't see me frustrated very op often ever. And it's, it's customs is just really doing that to me. So I'm going to try and get this loadout. Once I've got this loadout, we'll get into a customs run. And then we'll uh, have some fun over there. All right, so we're in. Now, the way scav runs don't work... Uh, sorry, the, the way scav runs work is you don't actually... Um, 
get aggressed by other scavs unless you you aggress on another scav. So you can walk around and generally you won't have any issues. There's a guy running around the Mosin. Check your timer. Auto check. Oh, you actually have to ask. So office windows, which is the, the third floor. And also the body up there. Gate three to so the main extra. Let's chuck his helmet. What you can do is chuck stuff like that into your backpack. And then loot it. Somewhere you're not gonna get seen. This is the sign of stuff you can do to, you know. Get yourself ready for the carnage that's about to happen. I really want to use the office window extract. There's that, that loadout up there. I'm going to go underneath. I'm up. And remember, we don't have to shoot scavs. Um, I always pile my corners. I've got the army to go pile corner. Try and take it wide. Let's have one aggress on us, so we're good there. Gotta be worried about player scavs. They're the ones that are gonna shoot at you. We can use that scav as our bait. Gotta say. Make sure I'm on full auto. Oh, I didn't trust him then. Right. I like the double open windows here. This is an extract. God. Oh, I can't even survive a scav run. This is insane. This is insane. I don't know what to do. But I don't know. We might have to turn this into a money run. I hit him. 57 damage. Well, load out time and uh, we'll get into another raid. So sometimes it's best to just do a scav run. Don't get greedy at all and just get the hell out of there. I, I had helmet, armor, gun, even high, uh, the high sports contacts. I could have just grabbed the, that gear, got out of the raid, and then used that in the actual PMC raid. So I was already up in the office too. It's like, you know, it was a little bit greedy, but at the same time, like... I'm always playing that way, so it's it's up to you, but particularly if you're newer at the game, use those scav runs to either like explore the maps and that. If you go into factory, don't stick around factory too long, grab that gear, get out, and then move on. Alright, so we're spawned. Um, we're going to go straight to the dorms. We're going to try and get this done. Already shots going off. If we can get through this, I'll be amazed. I'm, I'm almost at the point where I'm going to give up on customs. Customs have been at one, a brutal map. Brutal. Check this while we're here. So one of the things I do suggest people do a lot of if you're having a lot of troubles like this and you and you don't want to die as much as I am right now, is I actually suggest hiding at the start of a raid and just um, using a bit of time to just let the, the first chaos bit happen. I am running straight to the dorms when you know there's going to be people running over there with... You know, trying to get their, their marked key in the marked room and you know, but like, like I said before, I, I'm always trying to push to get stuff done. Um, I should slow it down a little bit. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. 
Um, but there's only so much we could do right now to, you know. Oh, let's just get a player out there. Oh, he's somewhat geared too. This is the second one too. I'm fucked. There's a guy right here. I thought I heard someone to the right as well. Bloody customs. I don't know where he went. I'm just going to make a run for it. Alright, so we'll check the uh, little campsite with the, the flash drive. And then... Up there. Gonna head over to dorms. And we have to go into three-story dorms. I really hate going in on this side. Yeah, there's some pros and cons to it. The, the, the biggest pro is um, you don't have to like get exposed to all that side. But the, the, the con is every single one of these bushes makes so much noise. And if I'm in three-story dorms and I hear a single bush, first thing I do is run up on top of that. I wait there until I hear someone walk on the metal. And then I just lean out and just shoot them all. It's, it's one of the easiest like counter moves to anyone running around this side. So we're going to go in and out, hopefully really quickly. Hmm, I wasn't in here at least. Hopefully no scav boss. The 220's down here. Room here. Get this item part right here. The other part of the quest here. Duffel bag. Then, someone underneath. You hear that audio noise? That's a, a bug. I've had that happen a few times where I thought they're on the same, they're underneath, and they're actually uh, uh, on the same level as me. So, All right, we're gonna run straight over to the bushes over here and just go prone in them. Wait here until we get a stamina back up. And we're gonna do a little bit of like leapfrogging, I guess. We don't want to get caught out with our stamina sapped out. And if we have to run away, we're gonna run away. Shots over at um at customs. Can make a leap for it. I guess the normal way I would actually be playing this right now, um, if, if it wasn't for the series and me trying to kind of like push through some of the hurdles, is I would, um, it's lit, sweet. Wait. Um, so one, some of the hurdles, what I would actually do is i will do a couple of money runs. Uh, you could do scav runs. And what I would do is I'd actually build up a bit of cash flow. Once I've got some cash flow behind me, then I would um, go in more geared. Level 15 is a big hurdle. I, like Honestly, I'm doing these quests because I'm trying to get off customs. But really, I want to get those onto the Ragman series. Once you're on the Ragman quest, you're going interchange a lot. When you're in interchange, not only are you getting money, um, uh, sorry, quest done, but you're making a lot of money. Um, you don't have to build, upgrade the hideout. There's no real like requirement. So you could literally just sell every item you get.
that's not for a quest. You can sell the ones for the quest, really, if you want to build up a bankroll. Uh, from there, you get keys. From keys, you unlock rooms that have more valuable items in it, and you just keep going over and over again like that. All right, so now we've got those two. We hand them into Skia, and then we're going to go to Factory. A factory, I love Factory. It's one of my favorite maps. It is probably my favorite map. Thuringian Factory. This one is located in the uh, in the, the top floor. And then the other one we're after is the letter from Postman Pat. Now, um, this one's going to be a little bit chaotic. Hopefully a little bit more fun. We'll have to wait and see. We don't need that key anymore. And I've got ammo. So I'm going to leave the ammo here. And then I'm going to put all this in here like that. Right, this is going to be our loadout. I'll go like that. I'd probably rather do it like that. And we're going to go into factory. Here we go. Alright, loading into factory. So, hopefully nothing goes wrong here. <laughs> probably. Probably will. I don't know. Factory can be really, really cr crazy with fully sweaty gear, guys. And then other times you've got five hatchlings running around. So, we'll have to wait, wait see how we go. Uh, the hardest part is getting into that, that three-story. If you can get into there first... Get the other uh, thing up the top done straight away. Then you go down to the bottom. Might be a bit easier. Go in. We're the best. Probably probably the best spawn for it. Unless someone does the exact same thing on the other side. <laughs> Try and grab these guys' gear as we're going through. Oh, it's got some nice gear too. That morphine. Someone's coming up here. Someone just came up stripper, we call that stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Like the best armor on. There's five enemies max in here. You know, there's a Mosin man hanging about. Go for him. Someone's already been in here, looted the safe. Lordy. All right. So, factory is the the close quarter, small, fast paced map. Now, once you learn angles in this map and you get good at aiming. You can, you can really devastate on this map. It's actually not a bad map to actually farm dog tags. There's a bar to trade from Ragman level 4. Once you get to level 40. The Mosin guy was over here somewhere. Once you get to level 40, the cowboy hat trade for... Oh, fuck. I hit that thing. Right, Mosin boy's down. We want to head to the extract now. And this is what we came for. Oh, 
I die now, you guys will be saying karma so bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I could do this on factory, but I could spend, what, five deaths in the last six customs raids? Five deaths in the last seven customs raids, but I can do that on factory. You know, go in the pistol and come out with that. It's like, I can't even explain it, guys. I'm sorry. But hopefully you guys learn something from all of that. It's, uh, it's one of those things. It can be quite crazy at times. I love factory. It's my, my, my favorite map. Um, as you see, four PMC kills. Not, nice name right there. But yeah. Guys, um, there's two quests handed in there. So we've got uh, Skiers Chemical Part 3, uh, which leads to Chemical Part 4, which I think, I will, I'll, I'm pretty sure we're about to find out. I think it opens up another one as well. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. So there should be a couple extra quests open there as well. Um, and then we also got the... Uh, there's vitamins, so we need level 22 for that. That's no no big deal. Um, but we did get the other quest done, and so this one you do want to hand this. There's two people we can hand this into: either prepper or therapist, or you can hand in the skier. You want to hand in the skier for this helmet. It's a, it's 20,000 rubles cheaper. You definitely want this one, all right? And then we we still got uh from from the west here vitamins. Uh, we can worry about that a bit later. Uh, the other one we did was the postman pat. That goes to uh, therapist. We got one morphine right there, which is nice. Hand this in the therapist, unlocks the laywers, and um, then go back to prepper, hand it in to him, and then that's that quest done. Shaking up teller requires you get level two, level loyalty, which means we need to spend another 600,000 rubles. You see how money becomes important in this. So obviously we did buy the scav junk box, um, and that obviously took up a, a fair chunk of our cash flow, um, but the side effects of it is we've actually got a lot more space in our stash. Now we got the marker for the uh, chemical part four. There's a lot of quests that require you to have markers. Um, and only like a couple of them give them to you. So there's the MBSS backpack. That's what's done. We've got some items there. We've got a new armor. This is class four armor. I'm class four. So that's not a bad one to find. Get off that player. And we've got that Mosin. So we can use that. He's probably trying to get his Mosin under 15 meter kill quest done. Dog tags at the moment, we're just going to vendor those ones. Uh, we can't do any good barter trades for them. And that is that done. So we got two quests done. It was a bit of a hectic start in uh, customs, but we got there in the end. I'll probably sell some stuff here. Oh, we can sell that for one of me. Uh, I'll sell some stuff. Probably sell that and that on the flea market just to get that little bit extra cash. And that'll be it for this episode, guys. So hopefully you learned something. Uh, that was very punishing. Um, but... We got there in the end. So thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. Hopefully by the time you guys got this video, we're at 100,000 subs, which is awesome. But if not, let's, let's, let's if you, we must be close. We must be close by this time. So please, if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Um, like I said, you got any type of question, feel free to hit my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time. This must be love, love, love. Nothing sure, nothing more, nothing but the moist.